I think just as the founders could never have imagined where we'd be today, it's hard for me to imagine where the company will be in 20 years except continuing to do what they're doing now, serving underserved people. I'd love to see Methodist Ministries in the next two decades ramping out programming regionally similar to what we've done in Bear County, both our own, both with funded partners, expanding our reach to the regional areas that we've put in our strategic plan that absolutely need our services. We've spent the last 20 years funding community-based organizations. We've spent the last 20 years building our own footprint of providers and services. And so where I see us in 20 years is our work is more about how do we intentionally weave those systems together? How do we align and leverage those? I believe the work that we're doing in Collective Impact and our SIF grant, working with other partners that are non-traditional to us, I believe that's giving us the basis to be able to develop some integrated care networks that can help serve our patients in the future. I think our strength at the moment is the fact that we've, we've matured now 20 years. We have 20 years of experience to, to have a, maybe a better way to position ourselves to be able to respond. We can predict to a certain extent, but a lot of it is responding to landscape changes that maybe we didn't predict. Well, MHM will, um, will help us tremendously because they are already very much working on the primary care side with Wesley nurses. Uh, very closely with communities in this part of Texas. Their advocacy is going to be very important for us to work closely and in collaboration together so that we can uh, have a voice for what is best for healthcare development uh, going forward. MHM is well positioned because we're very well known in the policy arena, because we are one of the largest healthcare funders from a th philanthropic perspective, and then we're also a provider, allows us to have an incredible opportunity to influence and reshape what that looks like. My advice to anybody in a leadership role in this organization is to understand that they must have the courage to drive change and they must not be afraid to take risk in that effort to drive change. At the end of the day, we do all this courageously to improve the lives of the people we take care of in our communities. We always remember it's about the patients. It's always about the unfunded, least served patients and clients that we've got. Then all the other issues will probably go away. Uh, they'll get resolved. I'm confident we've got great people here who will bring that forward and great board members that will continue to keep us on track. And the Methodist Church, of course, will always keep us faithful to the social principles. We can become a model. We, we serve 74 counties of the state of Texas. Uh, if there were other organizations like us throughout Texas and throughout the United States, you know, imagine the impact that we could have on the health care of those that are underserved not only in Texas, but across the, across the country.